Hey everybody, it's Jork. Welcome back to Triplans. My wife and I are travel planning and travel advising experts. So if you want to book your next trip, please come to triplans.com. Check us out. Also, we we'll try to give tips and tricks along the way to make your travels a little easier. One thing that's come up, especially with what took place between 2020 and 2022, is the idea of having travel insurance. I wanted to go through the different types of travel insurance, and then at the end, I wanted to be able to give you a couple of options that you can go to to be able to look at possible scenarios and answers to being able to get quotes for particular travel insurance. So here goes. There's many different reasons why you may need travel insurance. The first one, trip cancellation insurance. Trip cancellation insurance provides coverage if you need to cancel your trip due to unforeseen circumstances. These circumstances can include illness, injury, the death of a family member, or an unexpected work commitment. This type of insurance typically reimburses non-refundable expenses such as flights, accommodations, and tour bookings. Next is trip interruption insurance. This is a little different. This is trip cancellation insurance covers you before you start this is when you need to cut your trip short due to unexpected events. So after your trip is underway, it will reimburse you for unused portions of your trip, such as expenses to get home early. And the reasons for trip interruption insurance can be things like illness, injury, or a natural disaster. The next thing we have is travel medical insurance. So it provides coverage for medical expenses while traveling abroad. In particular, important if your regular health insurance doesn't cover international travel, you're going to want to have something in place. This type of insurance can cover doctor visits, hospital stays, prescriptions, other medications, and emergency medical evacuation if that's needed. The next is emergency evacuation insurance. So this is specific. This is not travel medical. This is specific to the evacuation. Covers you and can get you to the nearest medical facility in the event of a serious illness or injury while traveling. This may include evacuation by air or ground transportation. It's especially important for travelers visiting remote or medically undeserved, uh, underserved areas. So if you're going to a country where there are not many hospitals or you're going to be several hours from the closest hospital, it's important that you may want to consider this insurance. The next is baggage and personal belongings insurance. So if you are looking for things that like gets lost, stolen, or damaged along the way, you want to have this potentially in place because it typically includes coverage for items like clothing, electronics, and luggage. Some policies also cover expenses for essential items in case your baggage is delayed. So for example, if you are on a wedding and your wedding dress is in the bag, there might be ways to be able to get reimbursed to be able to go rent a wedding dress or something before the wedding. Trip delay insurance is the next step. This compensates you for additional expenses incurred due to a delayed trip. This could be the cost for accommodation, meals, transportation, if your trip is delayed due to reasons like bad weather, airline strikes, or equipment malfunctions. I want to say specifically, this is different than what many of you, let's say in North America that are flying to Europe for, if a flight is delayed three hours or more, there is some reimbursement that goes on to the passenger that you can apply for. That's not this, that's something different. So this trip delay insurance is different than what you can get back from airlines. If your trip is delayed too long, you can file. So just wanted you to know those are two different things. And then there's something called CFAR insurance, cancel for any reason insurance. So it's an upgrade often on some policies. Trip for any reason, you can cancel it. It provides more flexibility to you. It generally comes with higher premiums and it usually all, only reimburses a portion of your expenses. So you're paying more to get it and it won't cover as much. But if you just woke up one day and said, I don't want to do this, uh, again, it can be for any reason, you can do that with this insurance. Also rental car insurance, something that often people forget. But rental car insurance, obviously in your foreign country, rental car insurance is a good idea. I'm gonna say this, that you're gonna wanna check your credit card because in some circumstances, your credit card will automatically have coverage, the one that you use to pay for the rental car charges. They'll have some uh, 
collision or some damage insurance already attached to the credit card. The caveat is not all countries and not all rental cars acknowledge that. So even though you might be paying with a credit card that has that insurance, you may still have to pay for insurance on top of that based upon the rental car company or the country that you are obtaining the car in. So just be note, uh, take note of that. The next thing is adventure or hazardous activity insurance. And this is a special line of insurance that covers travelers for engaging in high risk excursions, things like scuba diving, mountaineering. Um, I'll say hiking is not that, but if you are doing like ice climbing with picks and axes, those types of accidents uh, or things that can result in accidents or serious bodily injury, those usually have a higher premium, but you can get insurance for them uh, in many cases. And then lastly, travel liability insurance. Uh, this covers you in case you accidentally cause harm to someone or damage someone's property while traveling. It can cover legal fees, compensate the third party. This is something that sometimes is built into rental car insurance policies. Some of the other policies that you get might have a provision, but oftentimes this is a standalone policy that you may need. It often doesn't come up very often, but just in case you uh, feel compelled to do so, you may want to get this insurance. And then here, we're offering uh, some options for you. Please reach out to us. So Jorick and Shelley here at your plans and send us an email if you're interested in obtaining some insurance or talking about some of these so that you have a better feel of the liability and what you may want to purchase or not. And we can help get you connected with the right insurance company. So as always, as you're looking to book travel or plan a trip, we're here to help you with this. And the insurance piece is something that more and more people are considering because of the amount of delays and issues with flights, accommodations that uh, maybe they, uh, the hotel screwed up the accommodation so you're supposed to get in today and they show you getting in tomorrow. So then you have to be reimbursed or they have to find a room for you for the night until you can check in. There's a number of things that can go wrong with travel. So because of that, having some insurance not all of these, but some of these in certain cases make a lot of sense. As always, thank you so much for watching this channel. Please check out Treplans.com and enjoy your day. Hi there, I'm Shelly. And I'm Jorick, and we are Treplans, a travel planning company that creates personalized travel itineraries. And we have now joined Fora Travel to become travel advisors. So that means that we can not only plan, but we can book travel for you. Let's, Let's get, get traveling. traveling.